Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Give yourself the gift of a job. If you need a job, go to CareerSource, CLM.com, and uh, that way you'll find a job that you need. Uh, Laura Burns brings us information about job opportunities from CareerSource every two weeks or so, and uh, she's here again to talk to us about that, this time flying solo, no guests. Good morning, Laura. How are you doing? Good morning. Happy holidays, and I'm starting off the holiday season for you, giving you the gift of just me. <laughs> we'll unpack that's right. a stocking full of interesting things, hopefully, that's, that's right. for your listeners. Do you, do, you, do you remember every, not everyone, but do you, do you have some memories of like the first day at some jobs? You have the first day is often like the w- weird, like you're getting to know people, you're not, you don't fit in yet and all that other stuff. Oh, I, I will never forget my first job or day at, at Career Source. Um, the lady who hired me, who um, is probably one of the reasons I took the job because I admire her so much. Um, she was remain nameless Margaret Spontek uh, <laughs> who we now her, does uh, master the possibilities at it on top of the world uh-huh. yeah. and she came in I was just getting settled into my office and she came in and she said in 10 minutes I'm going to go to give Rusty my two weeks notice and no. it's like oh, are you kidding me oh, okay no. great <laughs> so uh, that was fun um, and uh, yeah so after two weeks we were I was rudderless I didn't have uh, anyone we kind of flew by the seat of our pants we had a lot going on at that point in time and that was that was interesting that was an interesting start mm-hmm. but uh, typically I find in in my uh, area of expertise in public relations communications you you really land and start running you, you hit the ground running uh, you do not get any serious time to sit around and observe and go take mm-hmm. a shadow mm-hmm. anything or get your bearings you literally they say okay we needed this last week uh, before you were even hired and so you you really uh, don't you have a baptism by fire so that, that but it was a good it was interesting it was a very interesting day it's 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 interesting to listen to people talk about their employer not the person but I mean the job um, because if you've worked any place long enough you know a lot about it you become mm. an expert you're you're an expert right now at career source how long did you work for the Star Matter oh gosh uh, off and on for. More than oh, nine, ten years. So there, so you yeah, would be an expert yeah, yeah. on how that works yep. and mm-hmm. all of that. It, it, it is interesting how we kind of absorb even jobs that are not our own. We understand what right. takes place. Yeah, and you have to. You when wherever you work, whatever you do, whatever the industry, uh, whether you're a bartender, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a career source. I mean, you get immersed in the in the culture, in right, the right. in the jargon. In uh, you know, it's like yesterday we had a staff meeting. We we're talking about. The the SNAP and the WTP and the, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And D- I was like, oh, man, you know, p- people know what they're talking about when they use all these Yeah, yeah, and they know and you stuff. know. And, uh, you know, and, and it's my job to translate that into layman's terms or to un sure, it. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah. But it's just fascinating. I, I just, I, every day I, I get a kick out of it and I enjoy uh, the meetings and listening to everything and learning. There, there's always something new to learn. When, uh, when people go to you to get a job and you put them in the system, do you give them a background check automatically? Uh, n- no. Or does it no. depend on the employer? It, 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 it's it's incumbent on the employer to do the background checks and there are electronic background there's a whole system now we can do them um, at mm-hmm. a certain uh, when it's triggered uh, by the employer we, we can assist with that um, provide that as a service we don't do it but I mean we facilitate that background check but um, um, you know it, it, it's a kind of case by case basis but uh, uh, really that that piece of it is incumbent on the employer but we can we can assist so uh, several times you've told us about job opportunities that have training uh, opportunities for somebody who may not know how to do the job and that sometimes career source helps out with the paying mm-hmm. for that training right and we had the other day when the when the whole when Fidel Castro died we were talking about how and of course it was just coincidental that he died around the same time that <laughs> the travel to Cuba was going to begin <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and and I, I, I made the statement that if you were a mechanic 
and you were a mechanic in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and, and now, then you would probably know what you could do with an old car and over in Cuba yeah, yeah in yeah, Cuba yeah, because, because yeah, they, yeah. They, they don't have the new cars there well That's I right. know they have some because I went to right, right. they don't have street view but they have right. like but pictures it, it to me it's uh, it's gorgeous to see the cars they're pristine but they're from the 50s I isn't mean, that I weird I just love it it's isn't really that cool. weird yeah. yeah but anyway <laughs> but I'm sorry I digress well, you were going you were going well to ask I was just I was just pointing out that in, in our in our country I mean if you have those skills to work on an old car you're probably going to need new training if you want to get a job as a mechanic mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right everything's computerized yeah I mean, very different mm-hmm. yeah well uh, we we do as you know we we offer a variety of different opportunities. There's on j- on the job training. Um, there are the uh, adult paid internships. There are the work experience training. There's also the custom business training for existing uh, staff. If you need to get them up to speed on an emerging industry standard, there's something new that's coming out, uh, and you need to enhance their skills. So, so that's great for existing staff. But if you're if you're looking to hire somebody and want to try them out, sort of first the OJT or the internship. And when I say paid, we we pay. Uh, and the uh, also the same for the worker. Experience trainee experience program and and those I mean not everyone is eligible we we have to take a look at the targeted industries and those are the ones that are in demand and uh, have the most bang for the buck I guess in our community in our area so we're looking uh, at you know manufacturing IT healthcare transportation logistics um, and, and you know that's somewhat fluid. Uh, you can be um, a bank and you have uh, employees in your IT department who need to have skills enhanced. Well, that's IT type job, so that that could qualify. Right, but right. but yeah, there's all these wonderful uh, incentive programs that we offer employers, and it really takes that financial burden off your shoulders to be able to try before you buy so to speak and and that's and it's great for the uh, the career seeker as well because they're getting experience uh, they're getting paid while they're getting experience it helps fill the gap they might be fresh out of college or um, a two-year program or an 18 month certification program and not have any practical work experience now this is an opportunity for them to get it so um, you know we really work on trying to knit together the the different schemes of of the employers and the career seekers uh, to make the best match possible. And I've always thought that was the smartest way to go, to have paid interns, because how can you learn how to do a job, work for somebody for the 40 hours a week, and then you have to go to another job just to make money so you can advance yourself in the field that you want. It just doesn't make any sense to have people not getting a paycheck and working at a job. That is <laughs> that's certainly true. Um, you know, I, I've had nieces and nephews go through unpaid internships and work out for them Um, but yeah you can go through an unpaid internship and not end up with a job at the end of it (laughs) right Right. right. and then you think well what what was that all for well it was also for the connections that you're making Uh, if you do a good job that that person who hired you or the company owner is going to do a nice recommendation they may be able to say we can't hire you but we know someone over here and we see that happen all the time but uh, we do have we do pay. Yeah, um, so thank you, Laura. You guys are really, really good. phenomenal. That's good. All right, so that should lead to your talking points. You have some... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you know... I, I Especially just, the manufacturing seems to oh, dovetail with that pretty yeah, good. Yeah, let me talk about manufacturing. And I month after month, uh, we say, oh, you know, uh, manufacturing job growth rate in the Ocala MSA is uh, number three in the state or second or fourth or fifth. Well, uh, in October, and that's the most recent month that we have, uh, Ocala MSA job growth rate in manufacturing. Can you define MSA? What is that? Oh, Metropolitan Statistical Area. Okay, thank and you. And that actually covers the entire county, okay. all of Marion County. Okay. And job growth for our MSA in Ocala uh, is number one in Florida among all Florida metros at 6.5% job growth over the year. So have added 500 new manufacturing jobs from October 15, 2015 to October 2016. Okay, okay. So number one in the, in the state with that. And um, we also have uh, health services and education 
uh, I think they tied for fourth in the state for job growth rate at, I want to say, 5.4%, adding 1,000 new jobs over the year. Um, uh, so, you know, we have 8,200 manufacturing jobs positions in Marion County right now. Really? Yeah, 8,200. Wow. And the job growth rate's going through the roof. And you know, leading all, I'm uh, leading all Florida metros. I think that's that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And some of the uh, ones that we worked with, helping place, JR Plastics, American Panel, Custom Window Systems, Winco Manufacturing. We have held now. Winco has been here as one of our guests. Uh, American Panel, right, mm -hmm. right, Pamphilanga, right. Uh, they were here as one of our guests, and we have held. Um, uh, hiring events for for these companies and you know they are the reason that we're seeing this increase in manufacturing and uh, just by comparison it's like well is that a big deal 13 of the MSAs in Florida only 13 had positive growth and when I say positive in some cases it's 0 0.6 percent it's you know mm. oh. seven had negative growth and four had no growth so uh, that's not too shabby. And the closest other MSA to us was Naples, and they had 5.7% growth, and then Fort Lauderdale, 5%, and we were at 65 So pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> I would Marion say. County, Ocala Manufacturers. Um, can, I, can I ask a question? When sure. Carrier was in the news because of the air conditioning company wanting to move to Mexico mm -hmm. and then the whole Donald Trump thing, and not to be political, but wh where was that? Is that in Chicago? Where is Carrier? It was in Indiana. Indiana, okay. Like Penn State. They were mm -hmm. saying that the, the jobs that they saved were $50,000 a year jobs. They must get paid pretty well in Indiana for those well, manufacturing jobs. Well, was that the average? Jobs. I mean, sometimes you hear that, and, and that in, in, includes, you know, the upper echelon. Um, and so that averages out. If they're all fifty averaging 50000 I'm sorry, I don't, I can't speak to that. But mm -hmm. oftentimes we hear, you know, this company's coming in and the average salary is going to be X, Y, and Z. And that averages the that CEOs average. and the CFOs and everything, as well as the frontline folks. So, I I, can't, I don't know. I okay, can't speak uh, to that. and I wasn't trying to get into a political conversation, but let's just use that that what you just said right there, and just drop carrier from the conversation. So, if we hear a job is moving into town, the average pay is going to be fifty thousand. Let's just use that. Okay, that means I could start at twenty five. But it sounds like if it if the average person is fifty, that means I can climb the ladder. Oh, oh, absolutely, and and it's it's escaping. We 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 started posting our uh, manufacturers' videos uh, on our Facebook page that we have produced, and we have uh, we're adding to them. And the last one that uh, we posted last week, and I did the company's name ex escapes me. I apologize, but he was explaining how they would hire could hire people coming in with uh, one or two years out of high school and with the potential of earning fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year nice. and that's fantastic and I'm glad you brought that up because the Ocala MSA average weekly wage in manufacturing is eight hundred and seventy one dollars compared to and I hate this number six sixty six is the average weekly wage for all other industries. So y y it's higher than average wages right here mm -hmm. in Marion County, and I think that's that's pretty that's pretty great. Okay, I just I just did a quick thing, and uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Forklift driver at Carrier makes ten dollars and eighty nine cents up to twenty one fifty five. So. That's the forklift driver guy. So he's, yep. I'm assuming that's at the bottom. Yeah, it. yeah, entry level, that's that's yeah, pretty yeah, reasonable. Yeah. And then you're going to get some experience and time at mm -hmm. the company and it's right, going right, to boost right, you up. Right, mm -hmm. right. Not to mention benefits, and that should be Well, that's a in whole other layer. That's a yeah. fantastic uh, point. And you bring up, exactly. uh, you've had some guests that had unbelievable mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. benefits. All right, can we take a little break? And we'll yes. be right back with <laughs> Laura Burns did. from Career Source. Go to careersourceclm.com. That's the uh, website to get your whole self started, your whole self. Get your whole thing started for yourself. We'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Wednesday, a partly sunny, pleasant day with lower humidity, high 74 to 78. Partly cloudy and cool Wednesday night with lows in the upper 40s and the coolest inland spots to the upper 50s along the coast. Thursday, partly sunny and nice but cool, high 69 to 73. Friday, partly sunny and even cooler, high 60 to 64. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a toilet was flushing. The plumbing was out. 
The stockings were dirty, no water to clean. We were in a big mess with no washing machine. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of showers danced in their heads. And my ma in her kerchief and I in my cap, I searched for my tools to try and fix the mishap. When up in the attic there arose such a clatter, the pipes had burst, I see what's the matter. Away to the phone I flew like a flash, to call Mike Scott Plumbing, they'll be here in a dash. He arrived in his van and got the job done, for he knew down the road he had more to come. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Because accidents don't work around your schedule, but we do, with no extra fees for nights, weekends, or holidays. From all of us at Mike Scott Plumbing, happy holidays. Sunrise Automotive, this is Matt. Hey, Matt, it's Dan. Hey, Dan. Listen, we're going to be doing some traveling, and the wife, of course, is going to be doing a lot of shopping. I need to make sure the car is in good shape. Why don't you just bring it on by? Let us check it out. We can check all your belts, your hoses, your tires, all your fluids. In out of town, is that up north? It and is. cold? Yep. Okay. Let's check your antifreeze. Also, let's make sure your washer fluid has got alcohol in it so it doesn't freeze up north, because that, that makes for a rotten day. And let's check your air pressure in your tires. Let's look at your brakes. Make sure everything is safe and secure there. Let's go through it and just make sure everything is ready to go on the road. You do for an oil change? Yep. Whenever you come in to get your oil change, we always check your belts, your hoses, all your lights. We go through and make sure that everything is working properly. We check all your fluid levels. We do that every time you come in Sunrise Automotive. So just call you back at this number? Yeah, just give me a call back at 690-1993 whenever you're ready to come in. And you can drop it off, leave it with us, whatever is most convenient for you. Look forward to seeing you at Sunrise Automotive. Cookies, 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 cookies. We go cookie eating cookies. When you want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. King Cookie in the Paddock Mall in Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. So next time you're in the mall, stop by King Cookie or call 352-237-2557. KingCookieOcala.com. Customized cookies, cakes, and more. King Cookie. Eating cookies, eating cookies. We're so happy eating cookies. Cookies! Yeah, 50... 58 degrees, is that right, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. No, 62, 62, it went up a little bit. Uh, Laura Burns is here. We're not talking about the weather, just <laughs> me. Uh, we're talking about careers and jobs. And um, so we have a lot of manufacturing. And just during the break, Joe Marton was telling us, that it sounds like, what did this sound to you? Like a, a well, food market like or a something? a health food store or something. Yes, and I, I don't know if that's for public consumption yet. Well, we didn't <laughs> name it. We didn't name yeah, it. There's yeah. A, yeah, yeah, that, uh, that would be... That would be quite wonderful for our community for uh, sure. so so when we when you talk about somebody is an associate because you, you use that word a lot uh, is that different than an employee no I think that what am I am I an associate of WOCA you're the you're the king of WOC. Uh, w- in reference to that that it, over the break, that happened to be what that particular company was referring to their employees. I think Walmart also calls their staff associates. associates. Yeah, oh, it's just whatever um, they choose. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the way to refer to it's their like secretaries. We don't call them secretaries anymore. There's no such thing. I, that I don't know. I, I don't know. It depends on the business, I yeah. think. Secretaries are so much more. They're executive assistants or yeah. assistants. I mean, we have yeah, to yeah, do yeah, that's what I mean. Know, layers. Administrative support, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you do uh, wonderful things like uh, job fairs, expos, and things like that. And they're all different, but they all help people in the community. You you are you are my hero. Uh, that's a perfect segue. We have um, uh, career youth career expos coming up in January and February. We we had uh, one. We had two last spring uh, that went over quite well, and, and now this is going to be bigger, better than ever. Uh, our partners are the Public Education Foundation, of course, Marion County Public School uh, System, Mr. Ma, Career Source, uh, the CEP. I'm sure I'm leaving out somebody. Um, we'll, 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 we, maybe CF is all. <laughs> but we have a number. Well, hold on a second. Mr. Ma was on here. Yeah, Mr. Ma, show. CEP, Marion County Public Schools, Public Education Foundation, and Career Source are partnering. We are doing on January 12th, uh, there will be the Career Expo for middle school students. And on February 2nd, it will be for the high school students. These will take place out at uh, uh, Circle Square. Uh, ranch on top of the mm-hmm. world, uh, and it's going to be interesting. We're looking at four to six hundred students 
per expo. Wow. And they will be identified and invited by their schools, their counselors and the principals will identify the students who will best benefit from these expos. And so it's an invitation only for the students. However, if uh, your child uh, is interested and doesn't get invited, you can certainly talk to your school and, and mm -hmm. they understand that that's going to happen. Uh, we're looking at um, 40 to 50, possibly more, uh, employers there and education partners. Mm -hmm. The idea, and, and it'll be split into three sections. So one group is going to come and they're going to do soft skills workshop first. Then they'll rotate to the expo, and this is where the 50, 55 uh, partners, vendors will be. And they will be able to go around and learn about job opportunities. And, and, and this is key, and then find out how their uh, education path can connect. So if they find a job that they're interested in, they can also find out, well, what do I need to do uh, to, to get that, to achieve that, and what programs, post-secondary programs, are available right here in Marion County. And, and frankly, there are also programs available in the high school. So that is a, a, the missing link, and those two components will be together. And then they'll rotate into uh, the third area, which we call speed dating, and that's where they'll have roundtables, and they'll get to uh -huh. sit down with employers and just hit them with their best shot and, and to find out about the industries. And that's, that's going to be very fun, very interactive. Uh, and a lot of good information. That to, that to me seems more easier to maybe get a, a handle on what you might like to do than sitting with a guidance counselor and hearing about mm -hmm, it. Do you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you actually meet with the people, and I think so. You get to meet one on one yeah. with the you know the hiring manager or the the company owner, the CEO, and they're going to tell you this is what we're looking for. This is what our industry is all about. Our company is all about, and this is how you can join us if you're interested and I think I think that's a game changer and so we're asking employers we have a number committed already but um, if you are interested and want to participate uh, I'll give you the number to call our call our 800 number 1-800-434-5627 extension 3206 three two zero six and you'll talk to Jordan Steele Fox and she is uh, lining up the employers who who want to participate and there's no charge there's absolutely no charge you can't beat it yeah there's no charge yeah, so yeah. take advantage of this it's Absol fantastic absolutely I, w I was speaking to a young couple the other day and uh, both of them are out of work and I told them about career source yeah, good thank you the website and uh, hopefully they'll follow through I, oh, yeah. you can lead a horse to water Yes, all the sure. all the resources, all the assistance, uh, we have it all. Um, and and also, if you're on the career seeker side, uh, we can uh, assist with funding uh, for your your training or retraining if it's in a targeted occupation. And we have targeted occupation lists that that will list those. Um, don't go in and just pick one and say, yeah, that's what I want to do. You you really you're should right, have right, right. Uh, an affinity for it. But uh, if 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 you truly want something and you need training or retraining in that, you know, we can assist. Can I squeeze in one real quick? I only yeah. got about a minute. The aptitude tests. I remember mm -hmm. that from school. Mm -hmm. If if I wanted to give <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> I don't really want to do this. But let's say I did. And I wanted to, well, well what is my aptitude? Do you, do you have Absolutely. A, a similar Absolutely. test? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We can do skills assessments, aptitude and interest okay. assessments, you name it. Um, yes. Because Absolutely. I would imagine some people maybe would be surprised at what they you would, would be have surprised. a good aptitude You know, at. you can even go in and say, well, this is what I've done for the past 10 years. I've lost my job. I can't really see. I've got kind of tunnel vision. I can't really see the possibilities. And we can see how your skills can transfer to outside that box yeah, and, and yeah. you know and so that's, that's something uh, really it's, important it's a really great resource that you offer uh career source clm.com that's one website and what else what else how do we uh help out those who need to be helped give them a phone number sure 1-800-434-5627 and uh, again, share the interview we do it with Laura in her pretty red dress with her snowflake thing. And you got a pretty snowflake earring, by the way. I, oh, I do. I'm, I'm rocking beautiful. the snowflakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Laura. Thank you. Call us if you need the phone number or the website repeated. We'll be glad to do that for you over the phone. We'll be right back. Excellent.